how to read an MSTS. Section 1. This section identifies the product and the supplier. Included will be emergency contact details. Section 2. Lists the hazards associated with the product. Use this information to reduce the risk. Section 3. This section identifies the components in the product and their percentage. Typically, percentages are expressed as a range. Section 4 covers first aid measures in case of emergency. Ensure that your first aid representative is familiar with these measures. Section 5 covers firefighting measures. Check that you have the right type of extinguisher to use in case of fire. Review the specific hazards against your use of the product. Example, sources of ignition, smoking, static earthing. Remember to keep containers closed to reduce the flammable vapour in the air. Section 6 covers spill and cleanup. Review how you will deal with the spill, shutting down ignition sources, etc. Consider what you may need for cleaning up spills. Section 7. Handling and storage. You review how you store the product. Look at ignition sources where you store and handle the product. Section 8 covers exposure control and personal protecting, protective equipment. Exposure standards are guidelines for controlling exposure. Read the personal protective equipment section and review your current practices. Ensure your practices are in line with the advice. Avoid skin and eye contact. Section 9 covers the physical and chemical properties of the product. A low flash point means high fire danger. Section 10 deals with the stability of the product. Do not use or store incompatible materials, such as oxidizing agents close to the product. Section 11 covers the toxicity of the product this section lists the health hazards from exposure to the product by exposure routes such as inhalation, ingestion, eye and skin exposure. Chronic effects identifies health hazards from long-term exposure to a substance. Review your usage of a product, identify the possible ways you could be exposed in your workplace and minimise exposure where possible. Section 12 and 13. These sections explain how waste products should be disposed of and any impact the substance may have on the ecology. Section 14. This section covers the transport of the product. It lists the dangerous goods classification, flammable liquid, UN number and has chem details. Section 15. This section describes any other regulatory information on the material that is not provided elsewhere in the MSTS. It lists the regulatory status of the material under relevant Australian health, safety and environmental legislation.